Welcome to part 2 of this talk on liver metastasis. In the previous video, we covered hypovascular metastasis and learned why they are best seen in the portal venous phase. Today, let's talk about hypervascular metastasis. Recall that inflow to the liver comes from two vessels, the hepatic artery supplying one-fourth of blood and portal vein supplying three-fourths of blood. The blood from the hepatic artery comes first or arrives first, while the portal vein blood, although greater in volume, comes later. Imagine this black coffee as the unenhanced liver. In order to make it enhance, we will put creamer into it. First, we add a small amount of creamer to represent one-fourth of blood supplied by the hepatic artery. You can see that the coffee brightened or enhanced a bit compared to the black coffee. Next, we will now add a heaping tablespoon of creamer to the coffee. It is heaping to represent three-fourths of blood flowing into the liver. Now you see, the coffee becomes even brighter compared to the previous phase. This dual blood supply of the liver explains explains why when we take a scan of the liver at 20 seconds, we see some enhancement of the liver. However, if we scan again at a later time, the liver becomes more enhanced. This is what we call a dual phase scan. One scan taken in the arterial phase and another scan in the portal venous phase. If we arrange the degree of hepatic enhancement in these phases, we will see something like this. Of course, the peak of enhancement occurs during the portal venous phase. This is the graph of the hepatic enhancement after injection of contrast. Again, notice the peak enhancement occurring, occurring during the portal venous phase. And this is the scan we take at about 60 seconds after injection of contrast. This is the same graph in the box explaining the same thing. The phases of hepatic contrast enhancement. Now, if we drop a chocolate into the black coffee, it will be very dif difficult to spot. If we were to pick just one phase between the arterial phase and the portal venous phase, in which phase will give us the higher chance of finding the chocolate? Since the chocolate is dark, our best bet would be to look for it in the portal venous phase. Because this is the phase when the liver background is at, is at its brightest. The hypodensation then is made very obvious against the bright and enhanced background. This is the reason why we image in the portal venous phase most of the time. Now what if we scan during the arterial phase? Well, it might be possible to see the lesion during this phase, but because the background is not yet at its brightest, it's possible to miss the lesion. Now take this second scenario. This time, the chocolate that we will drop into the coffee would be a hypervascular metastasis. Because it's hypervascular, we'll draw some red roots to represent the lesion acquiring a hepatic arterial supply. When we say hypervascular metastasis, we mean a lesion that comes elsewhere from the body and it planted itself into the liver. We say hypervascular because it has more hepatic arterial supply than the liver. So how can we make a hypervascular lesion easier to see? When will the lesion enhance most? Is it at a time when the much of the inflow of blood is going through the hepatic artery? Or here when the blood is going through the portal vein? Because hypervascular lesions have more ar hepatic arterial supply, it will enhance the most in the hepatic arterial phase. So take the example, this example, taken in the arterial phase. Not notice that the aorta is very enhanced. There are intensely enhancing lesions in the right lobe of the liver, which are very obvious against the background liver, which is not yet at its peak enhancement. So to repeat, hypervascular metastases are those lesions which have more hepatic arterial supply, hence are best seen in the arterial phase. 
Examples of malignancies which produce hypervascular metastasis are melanoma, thyroid carcinoma, and renal cell carcinoma. In summary, in order to make a metastasis easier to spot, we either make the lesion brighter than the background or make the background brighter than the lesion. The phase to use will be dependent on what type of metastasis is being evaluated or being hunted. If it's a hypervascular metastasis such as in renal cell carcinoma, it's best to use the arterial phase. If the primary malignancy is known to produce a hypovascular metastasis, then it's best to use the portal venous phase. That's it for today. Thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you next time.